Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn June love reading energy for the month of June and I will get four four columns and we will look at each week um, and then we will get some clarifiers and close out with an oracle. This may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do. If it doesn't, leave the parts that don't as that may be for someone else. All right, so we're going to get some romance angels. One for each week. All right, we have worth waiting for. Week one. Week two, getting to know each other, right? Week three, heart to heart conversations. Week four, stay optimistic about your love life. All right. Whispers of love. Week one, receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Sorry, the, they're mowing the lawn right outside the window. All right, week two, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Week three, you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Week four, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So that's pretty cool because that's, again, going back to staying optimistic about your love life. All right. So what we have going on here for week number one, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we have, we have receive and with love and appreciation, gracious gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So I feel like it's being patient with someone, right? This first week is being patient for someone or waiting for someone to come into your life that they are worth um, waiting for. And knowing that the timing was to bring you the best, right? Because sometimes we get frustrated because we're like, well, I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it's not happening. You know, why is it not happening? Like there can be things going on behind the scenes that we do not realize, but but the universe wants us to have it at the, at the, at the best, right? For you not to have to accept le less. That sometimes we have to wait for things to happen and to fall into place. And when they're ready, then they fall into place and it works out perfectly and seamlessly. And it seems to just happen so easily. All right, so let's get some tarot. For this first week in June, Let's see. All right, rewards, right? Good things come to those who wait. Also, those who wait and take actions. But um, I feel like for this worth waiting for, that good things come to those who wait and that it was taking time to process, right? Things were taking time to happen. Um, it could be that if you are in a relationship that sometimes we want that person to see things exactly the way that we see them. But everybody learns and grows and evolves in their own way in their process. Sometimes we want, well, I want you to already see, I want you to be where I'm at, I want you to see where I'm seeing, you know. And But sometimes everyone grows and learns at their own pace and it may take that person longer to get to the point to where you're, you're feeling, right? Um, for where you're seeing things or for them to understand your point of view. So it could be a disagreement or something that's going on within your relationship that you feel that your partner is not on the same page that you are and it's just taking that person longer. But it's okay because you don't want someone to force themselves to do something or see something or feel something before they're ready because then they might have that resentment against you because they're like, well, I really wasn't ready for this, but I'm being pushed into this. And that's not something that will survive the long term because that resentment starts building up. So even if it's in your inner relationship, you're waiting for that person to get on board, that it's worth waiting for because um, it's, you don't want to create that resentment 
we have the six of wands which is success and victory so i feel like waiting for being patient right that's what the king of pentacles is is being patient being patient for something is definitely um worth it it's rewarding it comes out for the best so whatever this first week is may be impatient but i feel like something starts to happen and come in for you but to realize okay it's not happening for a reason and i'm okay with that and i want it to come in at the best possible time whether it's a new person coming in a new relationship coming in whether it's working on something with your partner the second week we have getting to know each other um, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens and the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back on love. And I feel like it's being patient with that person. I feel like whatever the situation is, if you are in a relationship, that that person starts to come around and you start to see, you know what? Yeah, um, I need to make sure that I am patient with my partner because I don't want that person to feel pushed into anything as I wouldn't want to feel pushed into anything that I wouldn't want to put that energy on my partner and I feel like it's you coming into that realizing yeah you know what I need to listen to my partner I need to make sure that I'm hearing what my partner says and that I am in tune with that so that we are both on the same page and we're both feeling positive about our relationship and it could be that if it, this is you're single that you know, maybe the second week is when you meet somebody, right? And you get to know each other. You get, you, you start the relationship, um, taking it slow, not rushing or pushing anything, right? Taking your time with this. Sorry about the lawnmowers. All right. Emotions, feelings. I feel like it's that excitement, right? Emotions are building. Feelings are building. You're getting to know each other. You're learning about each other. Um, finding that balance within the relationship it's that kind of having those conversations that back and forth right that you're learning about that person that person's learning about you having this really good back and forth I feel in the, in the second week here it's really pretty exciting third week we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other you are limitless you can do anything that you choose um, there may be something that you want to do that you want to talk to your partner about. So if you're in that long-term relationship, that it's something that you want to talk to them about. I feel like it may be something that you want to do or you want to pursue. Um, I also feel like it is keeping those lines of communication open within the relationship. Um, whether it's your inner current relationship or it's a new relationship that's starting, that you're still having that back and forth between each other, right? You're still having those conversations. You're having those good feelings inside. You're feeling good you're communicating you're moving forward you're getting excited um you're feeling positive about the relationship it's almost like you want to burst with happiness right because we have um this the sun that is trying to come through her hands there but i i don't feel there may be part of you that is holding yourself back and so you have to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation about something within your relationship with this with your partner um, but I also feel like it's joy and excitement that's coming through. Um, I feel, I don't feel that this is in a bad way. Um, I just feel like if it's something that you want to talk about that you feel comfortable enough within the relationship to talk about it. But I, I don't feel that this Eight of Swords is, is negative. All right. And then we have, for the fourth week, we have Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And we have be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So I feel like it's staying positive, staying optimistic about your relationships, keeping yourself in a good light, making sure you feel good, feel happy, right? Enjoy those moments. Enjoy every moment that you have with that person um, to the fullest and have that excitement and that playfulness and those conversations and there's time for the seriousness and the conversations and there's time just to have fun make sure that you keep that fun within your relationship not stressing or worrying about things that you can't control i feel like maybe that's trying to seep in here but making sure you know sometimes when we start dating someone we kind of go through that honeymoon phase and then all of a sudden it's like you know time starts to go on and then it's like oh <laughs> 
do I need to worry about something or do I need to like don't worry about those things don't stress about things that you can't control and don't try to put in um, negative energy into the relationship um, because we need to stay optimistic about the relationship and keep keep the positivity going sometimes you know like I've said before is that you can have that self-sabotaging energy where it's like okay we've kind of had our fun and things are starting to settle down so now it's time for me to figure out how I can sabotage this relationship right and that's not what you want to do you want to keep the dream alive you want to keep the positive energy alive you want to keep the opportunities alive um, you want to stay in that positive energy right look at that bottom of the deck sun card I feel like this is very positive I feel like it's exciting I feel like it's you know having that communication I feel like it's taking things slow going at a pace that you and your partner feel that is comfortable for you keeping yourself in the sun positive energy right um, dreaming of the future but not pushing towards that you know kind of having those little thoughts that sleep in that yeah maybe this is the person you know that's going to be for me but to not be overwhelmed f by it and then push that into a negative direction so making sure that you catch yourself but taking things slow it's exciting listening to that inner voice listen to those feelings right embrace those enjoy those happy feelings and enjoy the celebrations and enjoy the good times right and if you start to get into this nine of swords bring yourself back to this three of cups of this happiness right say okay do I want to be in nine of swords energy or do I want to be in three of cups energy or if you're feeling insecure get yourself back to this three of cups energy and remember all the positive things right sometimes we tend to focus on the negativity but remembering the positive things and the good things that have happened and to pull yourself out of that and if you need to have a conversation then you have that conversation right getting to know each other heart to heart conversations if there's something that you feel you need to discuss that you discuss that and that's how the relationship builds a solid foundation and that's how it is able to continue going forward all right let's close out with an animal oracle it's all about your perspective and your mindset and if you find yourself going into the nine of swords that you catch yourself and you say is it something that I really need to worry about is it something that I need to spin in my head or is it something that I need to talk about right I don't want to build up those walls look at that cow spirit I love it the miracles are endless yes they are yes they are believe in that trusting in that the miracles are en endless things can change perspectives can change Just keeping yourself in the positive energy in that sun energy in that light right catching yourself when you go into the nine of swords and how do you pull yourself out of that how do you move forward from that all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time